The WRU Women's Regional Championship reached its conclusion at Llandavri last Sunday. And as it stood, the Blues, the Ospreys and the Scarlets were all in with the chance of claiming the title. It's a huge, uh, huge for our performance pathway. You know, the club game is, uh, has got bigger and bigger every year. Uh, with the regional programme itself, it's something that we've you know, we established four or five years ago and, and every year it's got bigger and bigger with, uh, with more players coming through it. So in terms of our value, it's huge as a, as a stepping stone to that international uh, programme and, and, and giving the girls an opportunity to play at a higher level. In terms of the stats and, and what we're doing, it's, it's definitely uh, growing as a game. Um, you know, the, the number of players are coming through and, and it's nice to see this year there's a lot more uh, players um, coming into the programme off the back of things like our talent ID and, and the clubs themselves generating more players and players coming through the system. So in that respect, it's, uh, it, it's bigger in terms of player base, yes, definitely. We had World Cup uh, in the summer, which was, uh, which was our best ever finish. Um, so that's obviously itself going to generate a bit more uh, momentum. Um, but off the back of that as well, you know, naturally there's going to be a bit of drop off of players. A couple of girls have retired, a couple of girls have moved on to new, new, uh, new pastures. So it's important that we, you know, we generate that new sort of player base. And uh, we had a talent ID back in September, which, which uh, highlighted probably seven or eight girls who immediately came into our programme and about another 10, 12 who, who came directly into the regional programme. So you know, that was back in September. This is their sort of shop window and their performance pathway off the back of that. Said five years ago we, we established the regional programme and it's something that we did sort of in-house. Uh, over the years we've, we've passed our responsibility and, and back to the regions themselves where they can grow it themselves and put their own sort of stamp on it. And over the years you know, they've, they've bought into it and every region have, have, uh, have progressed at their own, uh, at their own pace and, and relevant to themselves. And we're sort of seeing that now in the last sort of three years with three different regions winning the competition. And again, like you said, going down to the last weekend, it's fantastic that there's still three teams sitting with a shout of winning it. Ospreys went on to beat the Dragons by 22 points to three, but it was the Scarlet's ladies who claimed the title at the end of the day, following a convincing 22-0 win over the Blues. In the context that we can we can see the girls playing at a, at a higher level than clubs, you know the, the club program is fantastic that they're getting more games now between September. Um, but you know the stepping stone up to international is, is still quite a big one. That this regional program fits perfectly in that in that calendar that uh, it gives the girls a higher competition to play just before we go into the international program. And with new girls as well, it's an opportunity for those to play with with more experienced players uh, and get an opportunity to play and learn from those as well as showing exactly what they can do.